Some teachers talk too much, and many use their voices incorrectly, making them vulnerable to voice damage, and that can cost a surprisingly large amount of money. Yeah, those are some of the conclusions of scientists that are doing a unique electronic study of teachers and their voices. John Hollenhorst has the story. We are going to do this test. Many people use their voices a lot, but teachers seem to be almost double the national average. They use their vocal cords about 25% of their working day. Professor Ingo Tietze says it's something they should be more concerned about. Well, because they don't last all day, many of them. Tietze and colleague Eric Hunter have been hooking up teachers with throat mics connected to a pocket PC to get data about daily speech habits. Are they speaking? How loud? And what pitch? And then it records at 33 times a second. Software charts the rising and falling pitch and volume. A teacher's voice just turning on and off will turn on and off around 10 to 20,000 times a day. The study is helping scientists zero in on why teachers' voices run into trouble. Their voice gets raspy and hoarse, and it's difficult to continue. And teachers particularly often uh, curtail their careers early on um, because they just don't want to talk anymore. Half the teachers they talk to report voice problems, a big annual cost, according to a separate study. They estimated it cost the U.S. economy about two and a half billion dollars because of voice loss in teachers and voice problems. Part of the problem is old school buildings with lousy acoustics encouraging teachers to speak too forcefully. But the scientists say teachers themselves could use some coaching. Yeah, their, their vocal behaviors often they press their voice, they go this way instead of up and lighter and a little bit more airy and, uh, and relaxed. Some teachers have experimented with microphones. The scientists say that sometimes works, but often it just makes everyone in the classroom talk louder and louder. John Hollenhorst, Eyewitness News, Salt Lake City. Those scientists are in town for a national conference of the Acoustical Society of America. So it's not just the amount that they're talking, but it's the way they're using their voice, too. So lighter. Yes, that's interesting. Maybe news anchors could use the same advice. When I, when I go out to school talks, I notice my voice hurts after I've been talking all day long. Yeah. You know, I mean, it really has an impact. Mm -hmm. Have to be careful. Especially when you're talking over that many people sometimes. Right. Kids can be loud. <laughs> well, look Let's at this. Let's talk about the weather today. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at the snow.